Hello again and welcome to another story time from the John McIntosh Hall Library. I'm Christian and I've got another fantastic story for you. Today it's about a little girl and a letterbox. It's called Letterbox Lil, a cautionary tale by Jim Helmore and Karen Wall. Do you know what cautionary means? If you don't, I'll tell you. Cautionary tale is a tale, which is a story, about mm, being careful. It's like a warning, a warning to be careful. So keep that in mind when we're reading the story of Letterbox Lil. This is the story of Letterbox Lil. On the street where she lived, there's talk of her still. By day or by night, from her house she would sneak, and through letterboxes she'd peer and she'd peek. If you dare to read on, I promise to tell of the things that Lil saw, they may make you unwell. How oh, exciting. There she is looking through the letterboxes of her neighbors. I wonder what these stories will be and what she will see. At number seven, alert and awake, there sits adorable Tanya Take. But she has been left with her brother's pet snake. Little Tanya with a snake. Scary. Do children taste better than chocolate cake? Mm. Davy Dark lives three houses down. In bright sunlight, he wears a frown. By night, He's the happiest boy in town. With two pointed teeth and a vampire's gown. There he is, Davy Dark is a vampire. <laughs> what a neighborhood she lives in. And next door to Davy, Professor Biscotti is changing a zebra from stripy to spotty. Have you ever heard anything quite so potty? I'm sure you'll agree. It's decidedly dotty. And there is the professor changing the zebra look. <laughs> Spotted zebra. Wouldn't be a zebra then, would it? Then Letterbox Lil spied on long-legged Peter. His looks and his clothes could not have been neater. But don't be misled, he's a sly spider eater. His tongue at full stretch measures more than a meter. Look at him eating spiders. Where does this girl live? How spooky. What a spooky neighborhood. Lil wasn't put off by the horrors she saw. Spying was fun, so she peeped more and more. Dragons and witches in books were a bore when compared to what lay behind any closed door. Look at her. Witches, vampires, dragons. Goodness. Then one day Lil opened her last letterbox from the hairs on her head to the toes in her socks. She was shaken with shock. She was frozen with fear. From then letterboxes she did never go near. I wonder what she saw behind that last letterbox. And what she saw, it frightens her still. So from that shocking day to this, peeping is something that Lil doesn't miss. Spying is fun. It's undoubtedly true, but not when the person that spied on is you. And this, my friends, concludes the tale. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't look so pale. But don't finish there. I hear you all shout. What looked back at Lil, we want to find out. Was it a monster that roars with slobbering jaws? A beast from the deep coiled up in a heap? Or something that's loud and incredibly smelly with ears on its chin and a nose in its belly? Come close and I'll tell you in the softest of whispers. Those bright eyes belonged 
to sleek willow whiskers. It was a cat. <laughs> so here's letterbox Lil. I'm sure she won't be peeking inside any more letterboxes. That was a fun story. Did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed sharing it with you. But now it's time for me to say goodbye and see you very soon. We'll be joined by other readers here at the John McIntosh Hall Library or we'll be having live sessions with either myself or Tanya or Davina. So make sure to join us at Storytime every day at 10 o'clock. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>